Cheap financing does not make a shitty deal good at all, ever. We're seeing not that much available right now. The things that I am seeing are extraordinarily overpriced. I mean, there's very little supply in my market for opportunities to purchase new buildings. And for people out there who are looking to get into multifamily or any kind of business, make sure that the metrics of your investment, of your business, of your building, make sure that it stands on its own two feet. I mean, cheap financing and low interest rates does not make a shitty deal great now. And we're seeing that the, uh, the business community and the brokerage community is, is trying to push that on us. Like, hey, I mean, I, I get calls all the time, Peter, come look at this deal. And because I haven't seen a lot, I'm gonna go look at it. And it's a piece of crap and it doesn't stand on its own two feet. It has no rent, it's got high expenses, it has no net operating income, but yet there's some huge price associated with it that I'm unwilling to pay. And ultimately the broker will say to me, but financing is so inexpensive right now. I mean, cheap financing does not make a shitty deal good at all, ever. Focus on cap rate, focus on EBITDA, focus on net operating income. I mean, these are the solid traditional fundamental metrics that drive good business decisions for the long term. As soon as you get off of, of focusing on those things and you start thinking that interest rates are so low, I'm just going to buy, buy, buy no matter what it is, you've got big problems. So I haven't been buying that much right now for a whole host of different reasons. Uh, valuations and pricing have been all over the place. We're a little unsure of how to value assets. Banks are unsure how to value assets. Appraisers are unsure how to value assets. That needle is moving every day. Uh, we're also seeing not a whole lot of availability of new assets come onto the marketplace. So there's a supply constraint feature in the marketplace right now that is artificially propping up whatever the valuations are that you're hearing. You just gotta sit back and wait it out for your, your moment and look at all the opportunities that you can look at. It's a numbers game. If you look at 100 deals and find one, that's what you gotta do. Make sure you have the 100 flowing your way. It's never a good idea to excuse traditional and fundamental underwriting practices uh, because interest rate pricing is cheap.